Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to add a home VPN for you to be able to remotely access your network from outside your house into OpenWRT using WireGuard. So first you're going to go up to System Software and you need to make sure that you have a couple things installed. So you'll need to do an update lists, wait for it to pull in all of this. Alright, dismiss. And you're going to search first for WireGuard tools. You're going to install that. You're going to search for Lucy App WireGuard. Install this one. Lucy Proto WireGuard. Install that one. QR encode. And install that. After you've done all that, you're going to go up to System and do a reboot. After you've rebooted, you're going to go up into your interfaces under Network. Now I've already got mine configured here, so you're going to be adding a new interface. When that comes up, just give it a name. I named mine Home VPN, set it to WireGuard VPN, and create the interface. It'll bring you into this page where I've already got everything set up. So the only thing you're going to have to do in here is generate a key pair, which will fill out this private and public key. And then you'll put in your listen port. The default is 51820. And then you're going to put in your IP address subnet that you're planning to use for uh, WireGuard. So for me, I'm going to be using the 10.0.100.0/24. So for the actual WireGuard interface itself, we're picking an IP. So it's 10.0.100.1/24. And then you're going to go over to the firewall settings tab, and you're going to assign the firewall zone to LAN. Then you go to peers. And you're going to add a peer. I've already got a peer added here. So it's going to bring up a box like this. I'll show you what mine looks like. You're going to give it a name. So this is the name of my phone. And then you're going to generate a new key pair that'll fill out these two for you. You'll generate a pre-shared key that'll fill out this. And then you're going to put in the next IP address in that subnet that you chose uh, when we were creating the interface. So for me, it's going to be 10.0.100.2. And this time it's going to be a WAC32 because that's the only IP address you're going to allow it to use for this peer. You need to make sure that you have route allowed IP checked. And then you're going to generate a configuration. Once you bring this up, next step is going to be done on your phone. Alright, so on your device, you're going to go to your app store and download WireGuard. So I've already got it downloaded. So I'm going to open it. And at first you're not going to see anything in here. Um, so you're going to click on the plus, and you're going to do scan from QR code. Once you've scanned what you have on your computer screen, you can give it a name. So for me, it's Kree's Firewall. So I'm going to tap on that, and then you actually have to go in here and edit it, and you have to fill out the address that you put in for the allowed IP of the peer. So for me, it's 10.0.100.2WAC32. After you do that, you just save. And then we need to go back to the computer to finish up. All right, so back on the computer, we're going to go back to peer configuration. We're going to save. We're going to save. And then do a save and apply. So the last thing we have to do is actually forward the port that we just made for this connection. So we're going to go up to network, firewall, port forwards. And then you're going to add one. For me, I've already got it pre-filled. It's going to come up with a page like this. So what you need to fill out is the name. You can just put in VPN, and then you need to make sure it's only set to UDP. So you'll have to uncheck TCP. Uh, source zone is going to stay as WAN. The external port is 51820. Destination zone should be LAN. And then the internal IP address should be that same IP that you set up for your WireGuard interface, not the peer, the interface. And then you're going to put in the same internal port of 51820. You'll do save, save and apply. So now back on the phone, you're going to want to make sure you disable your Wi-Fi so you can actually test it and try to connect. And it should show that you have a handshake and that you're transferring data. And you should now be able to access everything on your home network, including routing all of your internet traffic through your home router.